Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? <clears throat> it's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here for you guys, and let's get right down to it. Hope you guys are having a really good day, afternoon, or whenever you're watching me. And let's see what's going on. You know, Pisces, Nathi says a lacking. It's a lacking of. Um, and I feel that a lot of us are lacking money. I do. Um, Nathis could also indicate a learning experience, too. But generally speaking, I feel it, it could be lacking because, you know, um, I just feel that way. <laughs> Can't explain it. What else is going on here with Pisces? Now, if you have a lot of money, Pisces, it doesn't have to mean that you're lacking money. It, but you're definitely lacking something. Okay. So what else is going on? Pertho. Pertho. Okay. So uh, this is really good, okay? So usually I kind of frown on Pertho because yeah, Pertho is like one of those rooms where it's like the unknown, you know? And especially when it's in reverse. Um, but when it's upright the way it is here, it's, it's talking about how things are not as they seem, okay? So right now we're in a lacking mode of something, lacking something, but it's not... It's not as it seems. Hmm. And what else is going on here with Pisces? Wow. Not these again. So this is definitely lacking for sure. I mean, you see it twice, you know. It's also learning too. So you could be learning something as well, Pisces. Um, hmm. But, but don't worry though, Pisces, because Pertho is telling me right here that things aren't as bad as they look, all right? And usually when, you know, Nathis comes out you know, as the first rune, or, well, anywhere, really, the first, within the first three runes is talking about some sort of a lacking for sure, and, uh, you know, but you got Pertho here, so let's continue on with the reading. Things aren't the way they look, so that's always a really good sign, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so we have Othala. Hmm. See, now Othala is, is talking about the family, okay? Someone in your family, uh, something to do with the family. You know, maybe, uh, maybe a family member is involved, maybe you're involved with a family member or something right now as well. Othala means a number of things. Actually, the true meaning of Othala is inheritance, all right? But, but this is, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like an inheritance like money or a house. It could be like an inheritance of, of how the family does things. You know, the family's always done it this way, da-da-da-da-da, kind of stuff like that. And also, um, you could be spending some time with the family member as well. And it's it's in the upright, so it's really happy. So, yeah. Things aren't as they seem, and, and you have a... Things are happy around the family. So what else is going on here with Pisces? So we have Awas. 
All right. So now, AWAS is the death rune, okay? This is uh, one, two, three, four. This is right here in the middle of the reading. So this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning, Pisces. And you already know that. We've already been through a rebirth. This is like rebirth. This is like, this is talking about a rebirth, you know? I mean, a major transformation that's, uh, that we're actually currently undergoing. Um, and especially during the very beginning of the year, we kept getting inguas, which indicates the ending of one cycle and the beginning of another. And this is kind of like the same thing. Something new and exciting is starting, and you know, and you could be doing something different too, Pisces. You could be, um, you could be uh, trying something different and starting something new. All right. Nah. And there's that ugly Pertho in reverse. All right. Well, you know, uh, as many times as we've pulled this here also, I've kind of like figured out that this is kind of typical for us Pisceans, you know, because uh, we're always worried. We're always worried about, <clears throat> you know, um, what if this or what if that? Is this going to be okay? Am I going to, am I going to, is this going to work out? Am I going to get my money? Am I going to, you know, am I going to, yeah, this is kind of like, that's that type of energy. So, um, yeah, let's see what else. It's typical for us, though. I mean, when my cat got uh, fixed, I was like a nervous wreck. And I was like worried about him, and it wasn't really all that bad, but you know. What's going on here with Pisces? Us. So this is a tricky situation. Of course, you're going to be worried a little bit. And, you know, you might want to approach things a little bit, you know, be very careful. Just use your intuition, Pisces, you know, and I always say that. Um, this uh, could be somebody else's energy as well. What is this? This is Thoracic Us. Yeah, this is Taurus energy. So, but anyway, just treat things with, you know, <clears throat> whatever this uh, tricky situation is. Um, it's right next to Perth, though, too. I got to pull another rune out before I open my mouth and say something wrong. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Die gas. Die gas. Okay. So, something is really majorly transforming. Okay. This tricky situation here is transforming. You know what I think this tricky situation is, Pisces? I think it's I think it's the lacking of something. I think that you're lacking something and it's become a very tricky situation. If you're lacking money, of course, it's a very tricky situation. Um, but it's transforming. You have you have die gas right here. And this is not only uh, daylight, something, something is for sure going to be coming to light. But... This is also, a, you know, a major transformation. You can see it's, it's shaped like a butterfly there, see? It's also material gain. And that's something nice for a change, because look at this. Nothis is, is kind of like the opposite of material gain. It's like material loss or not having enough. 
Wow, see, here we go. Fehu. So, Fehu in runes, this is talking about money, okay? This is like moving cattle is actually what Fehu means. But back in the day, moving cattle was money. And the more cattle you had, the more money you had. So, I mean, this is talking about money. And your money right here is next to Digaz. Your money is transforming. And it's tr it's this lacking is going away. It's not as bad as you think. Because something is coming to light. And, you know, I feel that uh, it's going to transform everything right here. Look, you have uh, the death rune right here. Very, very good read. Wow. And we all need that transfer. At least I know I do. <laughs> wow. So let's get you a couple uh, tarot cards here. and See what else is going on. Ah, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So basically, the Eight of Pentacles is talking about, um, you know, to, to keep working, keep, keep, keep at it, Pisces. And as I was shuffling the cards, I seen the Nine of Wands kind of like fling out and then fling back in. So, you know, some of you could be tired as well. But, you know, keep going, keep going, keep moving, keep working, all right? And I know you will because you've got success coming. You've got some sort of success coming. All right. Keep working diligently. Wow. Well, see, look, you got the King of Wands. This is this is somebody here that this is you, Pisces. This is you working diligently and not saying no. And moving forward, just like the Nine of Wands, I know you're tired, but you're not, you're refusing to give up and you're moving forward. And all of this is going to change. Now, I also wanted to share with you guys something that I didn't, I should have probably told you guys um, at the beginning of the year. You know, 2024 is the number eight in numerology. I don't know if any of you guys are in numerology. But number eight represents finances and money. All right. So, I mean, this is what we're going to be working on all year here, Pisces, is our money. All right. We're going to be working very, very hard. And we're going to get a lot of rewards from our hard work. All right. I don't really see, um, you know, money, you know, falling from the sky, although I wish it would. <laughs> but I definitely do see uh, major opportunities coming to to increase your money. And I think you're going to be, uh, you know, your money is coming in. You know, it's going, this is material gain, too. So this knothies and all this uh, lacking is is going to dissolve and go away. Um, you know, just keep working, all right? And I know you are. I know you will. Let's get you uh, one of these uh, warm runes out here. And if you're new, you guys, these are um, called the uh, warm runes. They're, they're from Ireland and Scotland, and they were popular when Rome occupied their country. And so anyway, it's also an alphabet, very ancient language. So let's get to... Uh, uh, every single little piece of trees, a uh, twig is a different tree too. It's talking about tree energy. So what's going on with Pisces? I like that one. Let's see what that one is. Huh. All right. So let's look and see what that is. You know the old ones. The really, really old ones didn't have the thing on the bottom. See this little thing on the bottom? That's like the roots. That's like showing you that it's facing this way. But you know, there's another one that is facing that way. So if you didn't have that little thing on the bottom, it would count both ways. It would count coming out forward or backward. 
But this particular set has them both going both ways. Yeah, Dewar is the opposite of this one. <laughs> so let's see what this one is. Where the heck is it? Mm, sorry, Pisces. This is one thing that doesn't happen when I when I pull the card when I pull the cards out in advance and the runes out in advance. I already have all this stuff. <laughs> I already have all this stuff down. Okay, now I see where I'm going. I was going the wrong way. Okay, so the name of this particular uh, <clears throat> rune here is called Louis. Louis. Kind of sounds French, right? <laughs> And this is the Ro the Rowan tree, all right? And so Louis reminds us to keep our wits about us and be aware of our surroundings and trust our intuition. She warns of potential danger, but also suggests that we have the courage to overcome all difficulties if we use common sense and remain grounded. Louis also speaks to a connection with mystery and magic. She invites us to look inward for guidance and to tap into our inner strength. Wow. So just, you know, Pisces, um, just use your intuition, okay? Follow your intuition. And I know that this has kind of like been a little bit of a struggle, and it still kind of is. I see not these on there twice. Um, but uh, the good news is you have Pertho here, and things are definitely transforming with your money. So I really like that. So it's looking good. And what else for Pisces? Yeah, you're looking for potential danger here with with thoracic I was just trying to think of what potential danger could that be. Well, that's this tricky situation. This is that's that's thoracic All right, this this difficult situa situation, lacking money. Full moon in Aries. Cool your emotions. Cool your emotions. All right, Pisces. Let's get you one more. I just feel like just getting one more. Noon, moon, and Scorpio. Go deeper. So, you know, I feel that this is kind of like a real spiritual type of feel that I got right there. So I'm feeling like Pisces, go deep within, you know, and this is a good time to to meditate and and use your intuition because i feel that your intuition right now is really really strong all right and you can go deeper you can go deeper all right so anyway there you have it pisces i hope you enjoyed your reading and if you haven't already please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time probably tomorrow for sure <laughs> all right pisces bye for now